Have you ever wondered, what is the wisdom behind Ramadan? I will tell you at the end of this video, and I assure you that you will be surprised. To begin with, I will tell you why the Lord Almighty has made our religion Islam so difficult. There are five obligatory prayers you need to offer, no matter what. Once in a lifetime you need to perform Hajj, which is not an easy one. You need to give zakat, from your hard-earned money. And then you need to fast in Ramadan. As compared to other religions, Islam is the hardest. The question arise, why did the Lord Almighty do this? Even some pious people say that, if you will mention all these requirements to follow God, the disbelievers will never embrace Islam. The disbelievers say, we go to the church once a week. Whereabout Muslims wake up early morning, which is quite disturbing. And then go to the masjid for the Fajr prayer. It does not end there. Then after few hours, Sahar, Asar, Maghrib and Yesha, one after another. All of them needs to be offered in the masjid. In winters the days are smaller, so it seems like you hardly get to do anything else, just prayers, prayers and prayers. Then in Ramadan, it becomes even tougher. If the Lord Almighty had to keep us hungry whole day, at least he should have made the timings a bit easier. For example, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That would have covered 12 hours period, plus we would have just skipped the lunch. No worries, all of our life, we have been having lunch, sacrificing it for a month, would not have been a big deal, for the sake of God. The Lord Almighty kept the sunrise and sunset timings, but he ordered to wake up even before Fajr prayer and eat. In the whole world, no one eats at that time. Eating before Fajr prayer is as difficult as the whole day fasting, because you need to sacrifice your sleep. After so much trouble, when finally it was time to break the fast, the Lord Almighty attached it with the Maghrib prayer. He did not even let us break the fast comfortably. And then in Ramadan there should have been four prayers instead of five. We would have said, O oh our Lord, all of the life I have been offering five times of prayers, at least in Ramadan please exempt Yesha prayer, as after a long fasting day it is very difficult to pray Yesha. What the Lord Almighty did is, attached extra long additional units after Yesha prayer, called Taravi. Not to forget that we need to wake up before Fajr prayer to eat. The Lord Almighty is giving all this tough time just to give a spark of His love in our hearts. It is a human nature that if He sacrifices for someone, gradually the love for that person becomes stronger and stronger in His heart. Love does not develop by eating, drinking and living in comfort. And once the love is strong enough, then it is super easy to obey the Lord Almighty. This is why Muslims feels more closer to the Lord Almighty at the end of Ramadan. But the problem is inconsistency in our prayers and deeds. Take Ramadan as a chance to get together and get close to each other as a family. As a normal routine we hardly get a time to sit together and have a breakfast, lunch or dinner. Narrated by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the thirst is gone, the veins are moisturized, and the reward of fasting whole day is registered with the Lord Almighty. These are the two big rewards when breaking the fast. Eating, when super hungry, and drinking, when super thirsty, has no alternate in this world. These are the natural cravings with no alternate. Please, try not to miss any day of fasting in Ramadan. May the Lord Almighty guide us to the straight path like he did to his prophets. Amen.